And welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Michaela Loves Gymnastics. Hey, everybody. Um, first and foremost, let me say I'm aggravated. Why? Because I already started this video. You see, I already started this blunt chat. And somehow, somewhat, my camera did, just turned off in the middle of me recording. But it's no tea, no shade. We better get we feel to have a very entertaining video. First and foremost, I would like to say welcome to another episode of Michaela Loves Gymnastics. I hope you guys enjoy this edition of Blunt and Chat. Um, today's episode, we're going to be talking about Ashton Locklear. But before we get into our Ashton Locklear conversation, a few Michaela Loves Gymnastics announcements. I am currently working on an epic Olympic prediction video or spaces or something starring Adex, Poor Lawyer, and Ben. Now, if you are on Twitter, you know who all of these people are, and you know how epic this conversation could be. So, hopefully we can record some kind of video. If not, hopefully, if it's nothing but a space, that's cool with me. I just really hope, 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 hope this comes together. Also, me and Adix are working on our um our individual podcast or show or platform or content creation something um, is coming up shortly. We are always talking about it. We just, um, you know, life, you know, none of us are rich, so we got to work, we got to live life. I'm married, I got a husband I got to take care of, so we're working on it, and it's coming hopefully shortly, hopefully before Worlds. Um, and hopefully we can get the Olympic prediction to start. Um, you know, before the actual Olympics starts. And the Olympics are going to be starting this week, you guys. How do you guys feel about that? Um, we can expect. I think the opening ceremony is going to start Thursday. I think the men's qualification starts Friday. And I think the women's qualification starts Saturday. So, I could give two shits about the first two things I named. So, Hopefully, by Saturday, we can be on and popping. And we'll have lots of content. I will be recording as many videos as I can. Um, and I will be watching as much as the Olympics as I can. Story. Let's light this blunt up. And let's start this blunt chat again. Now, the topic of conversation tonight, you guys, is Ashton Locklear. And why do we in the gym today give Ashton Locklear so much shit? For her doing what she got to do to keep a roof over her head and make money and put, put money in her pockets, right? Story. And of course, we want to start a thunderstorm in the middle of this video. So, let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real, you guys. I have my notes here, but we're going to do this off the top of this dome. And off of my emotions and off of this blunt like we did last time. Story. Let's keep it real, you guys. Ashton Locklear just was never that girl. Now, I get it. Some people on the gym tonight are super stands of her bar routine. But Ashton Locklear's biggest accomplishment was fourth place at Worlds, which is which is an accomplishment. I'm not saying it's not an accomplishment. It's a huge, incredible feat to be the fourth best bar worker in the world. Like, that's incredible. But that was her biggest accomplishment. She never won an individual medals in 2014. She was injured in 2015. She didn't make the 2016 Olympic team. And in 2017, um, she got hurt halfway through the bars and couldn't finish the routine. Story. Ashton Lockler also decided to turn pro, which means she couldn't go to the NCAA, which means she didn't have that as another upper way to get her name out there in the gymnastics community, which also was a detriment to her being able to be a professional gymnast and making money. But the most most important thing that Ashton Locklear did was piss the mom miles off, right? When, after her injury in 2017, and she went to, um, well, um, not well, but, um, World's Championship gym that Simone owns, right? Um, Ashton was just kind of like, you know, 
I think Ashton went to Simone's gyms to ride Simone's coattails to follow Simone on tour to make money behind Simone. I don't think she was seriously trying to go for the 2020 Olympic team or any world championship teams. The thing, the, the way that Ashton Locklear fucked herself over, no offense, excuse me for her student, was that she she kind of made a mockery of the training system and kind of was like talking down on the coaches and on the gym and shit and kind of pissed Simone Biles off. So, she's not an Olympian. She's not a world individual medalist. Yes, she has a world. She's a world championship. She's a world champion with Team USA in 2014, but she's not an individual world champion. So, I don't see her going on the USA Gymnastics Tour. Um, she done pissed Simone off, so she's not going on the Golden Tour. So, what else is Ashton supposed to do? She didn't go to college. Cause she didn't earn a scholarship. I mean, she might go to, she might be in school now for all I know, but what else is Ashton supposed to do, you guys? Like, yes, she's an OnlyFans girl. That's the way of her making money. And she has a small name via gymnastics. What else is Ashton supposed to do? That's just what our, my question is for you guys. You know, clearly for years, Ashton seems to want to be a Instagram model-ish type girl. And there's nothing wrong with that. If that's what she chooses to do in her life, there's nothing wrong with that. I want to know what's the beef with the gentleman. I want to know why we're always attacking this girl. I mean, I get it with the whole COVID-19 thing and her being, you know, kind of stupid with that. But her OnlyFans and her being an IG thought, that that's kind of what she wants to do. And it seems to be working for her. So I don't get the vitriol and the hate towards this girl for this particular issue. So if you would like to explain that to me, please drop down in the comment section. Let's talk about it. I hope y'all enjoyed this episode of Blunt Chat. Um, I'm sorry I didn't smoke that much, but uh, like I said, I had recorded this episode earlier and the camera decided to cut off on me. So see you guys in the next episode of Michaela Loves Gymnastics.